what's going on guys and welcome to a another e3 stream here at taste loot gaming uh we are doing the ubisoft stream today but before we get into that i want to give a couple reminders real quick uh first off don't forget to play our playstation plus games offered free on playstation plus uh our borderlands the handsome collection and sonic mania play those come back at the end of the month and talk to us uh, about them on our show plus club also our game of the month as chosen by chris is path of exile that is free on uh all platforms and you can play that as well come back at the end of the month for game of the month and have a conversation with us about that as well apologize for the sloppy intro i just got off work and uh looks like chris and keith are yelling at me and it's making me smile so distracting also we have discord link down below click the link come chat with us anytime all the time uh usually someone in there willing to have a conversation with you and then we also have an itunes spotify and other podcast platforms with four audio only versions of our show uh yeah so ubisoft e3 haven't watched this yet don't know anything about this one and then after this we'll take a small intermission and then i will do square enix which unfortunately uh a certain owner of this channel spoiled something for me thank you seth uh, but otherwise i haven't seen anything on that either so looking forward to doing that uh so as you say hello to the people in chat hello keith hello chris uh, welcome home, Chef Mo. Thank you very much. Chris is always in Discord, he says. Always. Emphasizing the always. And uh, rude spoilers. Yeah, yeah. He was talking in the wrong channel. He uh, private messaged me on Discord instead of uh, <clears throat> telling you guys he told me. And then I told him spoilers, and all he did was LOL at me. So... Keith, channeling your inner Seth, love it. I don't know if I'm channeling my inner Seth, but I am doing my best to run the channel while he is gone. Uh, so far, nothing's caught on fire, and uh, we haven't lost millions of subs, so we're doing good. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Feel free to chat as we go along, and hopefully it's super exciting. Music right off the bat, huh? Reminiscent of how Sony usually does their stuff. Yay, fire. No, no fire. We don't want that. Either of you guys watch this yet? I know, Chris, you said you were waiting. nothing don't stand in the fire and now we haven't watched it waiting for you I am flattered you guys are too kind we also have not I had a coworker who kept trying to talk to me about this uh, today. I kept telling him, I have to go home and watch it. Don't talk to me about it. I have to go home and watch it. And uh, he's like, oh, I just got to give you the list of what they're going to show off. I was like, that's like half the point, man. So, fortunately, dodged that bullet. 
really excited for Square Enix. You and me both. Uh, they have not done a actual stage show in a long time. Just punch them in the mouth. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my job. Whoa, that's a lot of yes. Notice how I do this weird arm on the arm of the chair thing. Probably why my back's always so messed up. I have awful posture. My back's always messed up because I'm always on it. I'm not sure if you mean that in an innocent or not so innocent way. Uh, knowing you a, a little bit, I'm assuming the latter. Okay, music intro is nice and all, but I'm going to make a drink and sandwich. You know, every time we watch a video, you got to make a sandwich. What's with you and, and sandwiches for videos? Yeah, not so innocent. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. Sandwiches are delicious. And I'm gonna get cake. Man, bread and bread. I don't have anything. Of course, I'd be running an ASMR if I was eating here, and I'm not gonna do that, so. That's bad enough you're gonna have to hear me sniffle and drink every once in a while. I'm taking my phone with me so I don't miss anything. Not a moment until your wonderful internet service provider decides that it's time for a small break. That's neat. Definitely a lot better than the rock show at last year's Bethesda conference. So. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the Assassin's Creed Symphony tour starting on June 29th. Imagine an 80-piece live orchestra and choir playing the iconic themes from Assassin's Creed while you relive some of the most memorable moments from over a decade of Assassin's Creed in an immersive experience. Check out acsymphony.com to learn more. I mean, excellent music, great performances, goosebumps. If you like those things, I think those shows are going to be for you. I don't think we're speaking the same language here, but it is there's, there's neat. I just don't think I'd go see that. It's just about to start here in the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. Now the house is packed. And to give you folks at home an idea what that feels like, can I please hear the balcony people make some noise? Oh, they weren't kidding. It is full in there. I know none of the music. None of that music. Holy crap. Can't read. I know none of the music from that game off the top of my head. Ah, uh, me either. here folks we hope you're feeling the same way there from everyone at ubisoft all around the world please enjoy the show do my best <laughs> 
Keith, I don't know if you're back from your cake uh, expedition there, but uh, you watching any of the other conferences? Don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I don't think they were necessarily telling you either. It was more of a request. London. Hmm. Greatest city in the world. Debatable. Well, used to be. Now it's a right mess. Government's fucked off. Extremists are grabbing power. Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. The war dogs are out. And freedom's a bloody joke. But this ain't I have London. to return. This is our London. You catch my question? And there's a new power growing. It's all of us. Together. We're building a resistance. One recruit at a time. What's my favorite operative up to this evening? And no, I never say that to the others. Scouting talent, Bagley. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yeah? I have no eyes. Do you watch any of the conferences at all? Was this Watch Dogs? You watch any of them? Do yourself a favor and at least watch the Xbox one. This has to be Watch Dogs. Yeah, I'm, it, this has to be. I never played the other two, so I don't really have a good. Uh, uh, or I don't really have a connection with the game at all, but you know that doesn't mean I'll never will play one. Sure, but we need a drone expert, Raj, not a shit kicker. File that one away for later. Plus, you know Ubisoft's really good at uh, improving upon their games after listening to what you know we have to say on it. So, uh, you will good. Also, for fun, watch Devolver Digital. However, asterisk, if you haven't watched the last two years Devolver Digital ones, you should probably watch those first, since it is a skit that has gone for three years now. They're significantly shorter, though, because of that. Plus, they're a small company. Damn, that is a crazy fucking mask. Good animations. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Hit him real hard, had to take a break with his hand there. Oh. Yeah, the Devolver is really good. It's hilarious. I don't know, this kind of looks neat, actually. Unfortunately, I know it's a sandbox, and I'll probably play for like a day and then never touch it again, so... Kind of wait and hear what people have to say about it. it wasn't the case of Sleeping Dogs, actually. I played the crap out of Sleeping Dogs. Bail! Bail! I kind of like uh, the idea there. Finish what he started. He was working on a new recruit, a drone expert. That's promising. What do we know about him? Albion scanned Jimmy just before Ian was killed. I should be able to predict his next move from that data. Unfortunately, his records are locked up tighter than your compression stockings. Are they now? <laughs> shoo, shoo. Albion's even taken over Scott. How many game? How many games do you play as a an, an older woman? I mean, really. How funny. Hello, darling. Wow, that's fucked up.
I was like the best little buddy ever. <laughs> this is great. I would play the whole game as her. Go, Grandma, go. Mrs. Doubtfire, the game. What the fuck am I watching? Dude, I don't know. That was great. <laughs> I don't know. Go back to the grandma. That was amazing. Feed birds. Sick robot dog on strangers. Roll over fucking <laughs> railing. Kelly's have this place on full lockdown. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> Bring back the granny. Yeah, she's VIP. Thoughtful. Huh? What the hell? Is this a meme? This better be a joke or I'm saying. Bye. Ah, cannabis and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. Kelly's are moving loads of weapons out of here. And not your typical back alley shanks. Stables. It's human traffic. We want more granny action. I agree. This is just normal fare at this point. We want granny action. We want lots of hugs and kisses. A puppy who somehow can use technology. Little kid. That was cool. Not like a John Wick move, man. Boom. Wow, those animations are dope. Are you dead sick? Hope you're sharper than you look. Jesus Christ. Someone beat these dead sick pricks. I want her to have cyber cookies that bring milk to their victims. <laughs> it has to be warm milk. They need to relax. Smart ass robot. Okay, that visually this is just great. Oh, <laughs> tucks them in permanently. Good night, dearie. Well, we showed those fucks, didn't we? She likes to change out her depends to regain health. Damn. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think. And that's how they'll take us. One at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Chris, I like how you have commented on both platforms. Wait. What happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Fuck it. Nah. 
Welcome to DedSec, James. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where do I go Welcome. You doing my phone? When I was making sandwich. Back on my PC now. Okay. Naomi's hair do is weird. Yeah, well, to each their own, huh? I gotta tell you, I honestly didn't give two shits about this, but, uh... I don't know, I think the Miami kind of sold on this one, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. Guess I'm going to make you all wait so long, I should really knock it out of the park, huh? Uh, I'm Clint Hawking. I'm the creative director of Watch Dogs Legion. And for the past few years, the team and I have had the privilege to work on a game and an innovation that we are very proud of. Watch Dogs Legion is set in London, one of the greatest cities in the world. Any concept I've seen more. I want to see if there's more story for just random characters all the time. For centuries. Yeah. Today, I just know gameplay wise, it looked really cool, so. London's at a turning point. It's hard to predict what the future holds for London, for the UK, or for the world. For the world. But history has proven time and again that where London goes, all of us go together. In our near future, London is facing her downfall. The UK has become a surveillance state, and freedom has been replaced with fear. V for Vendetta. Long drones patrol the streets, deportation squads rip people from their homes, and Grandad is using crypto to buy a new kidney on the black market. But Londoners never surrender. Their resilience and determination is an inspiration to us all, and they are the heroes of our game. All of them. In Watch Dogs Legion, your mission is to build a popular resistance to fight back against the emergence of an authoritarian regime. This means you don't just play as one hero, but many. And in Watch Dogs all the heroes. you can recruit and play as anyone. I think the YouTube stream went down. Oh, imagine that. Checking. Fuckers. In our game, every Londoner is fully simulated with a persistent life and relationships and anyone from the entire population can be recruited into your team. Find them, profile them, hack into their lives, play their origin mission yeah it looks like it the heroes you recruit are all unique characters still running on twitch though i assume since you're talking to me there and animated and they are the stars of your story every cinematic in the game will change depending on whether you're playing a former looks mi5 like action hero a 70 year old granny you saw feeding pigeons in the park or anyone in between okay you want to play, i cannot fix that on the fly Watch Dogs Legion lets you be that. You want to make a team of classic British spies? No problem. You want to be a crew no of problem. kids from the council block? Do it. You want to go hipster, body mod, afro punk, gangsta? Awesome. I gotta tell you, YouTube's been giving me some issues since yesterday, though. So, really frustrating. Play as anyone is the innovation that transforms a story about freeing London and the world from the grip of tyranny. Into He's got a, game a lot of uh, script to read interest. on this part. Because being a hero isn't just a job for someone else anymore. It's a job for everyone. So on behalf of the Watch Dogs Legion's team here... Everyone. World, Thank you for your time and welcome to the resistance. Due to a copyright match, your live stream was terminated. Ah, London. Lovely. Had a good run there for a while. Now it's all riots, bombings, and people thrown in cages like animals. Oh, and who could forget the killer robots everywhere? So yeah, that's all gonna be shit. 
it's up to us to take our city back. Man, they're just doing. <laughs> they did a gameplay trailer, and now they're doing a storyboard trailer. Alright, well, I'll have to let people in Discord know that they have to come to Twitch. Unless you would like to do that for me. I appreciate that. And I will just upload it later and watch it work that time. She's great. Ooh. Like I said, you can recruit anyone. And all mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them. Recruit them. Build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. March 6th. March, March, April. Oi, oi, oi. Interesting concept, hope it's executed well. 100% agree. What up, Rob? Okay. You're correct. Always sunny music. More importantly, the people who create those games and the people who play them. So, last year, I called the funniest people that I knew, Charlie Day, Megan Gans, and David Hornsby, all executive producers on Sunny, and we started talking. We realized very early on that if we were going to do this, we wanted to do it right and to be as authentic as possible, because, mm -hmm. as you all know, nobody smells bullshit like this particular community. <laughs> So we did the right thing. We partnered with Ubisoft, and away we went. It has been an incredible experience working with one of the biggest and best game developers in the world to inspire us, because our show takes place Video's a little audio-wise. Yeah, it's been a little low both times. Uh, let me turn it a little bit. Mythic Quest. And we meet them on the cusp of releasing their biggest expansion yet, Mythic Quest. How's that? The show follows the team of devs as they navigate the challenges of running their game while dealing with the difficulties of modern office life. These people are truly stuck together, yet they grind it out day after day for the love of the game. And at the head of that team is my character, creative director, Ian Grimm. <laughs> like... Like most creative directors, he's gifted, driven, and tirelessly dedicated to his One game. And more. Like most of the creative directors that I've met, he has an ego okay. the size of a city bus. But I'm bump. I'm going to get my ass kicked backstage because there's a lot of creative directors here. What's Mac doing, doing here? It's clear that those creative Talking. Directors and the thousands of people who work on these games put everything that they can into them. They recognize that they have a tremendous opportunity and responsibility, that they must do everything in their power to ensure that the games are nothing short of the best that they can make. Because that is what the community... Welcome, welcome. Deserve. I promise you that in making this show, we took the same approach. So without right, further cool. ado, 
Here is a brief look into our upcoming TV series for Apple TV Plus, Mythic Quest, Raven's Banquet. Mythic Quest. What is Mythic Quest? Please tell me. Some may say it's just a video game. When it first debuted, MQ was hailed as a masterpiece. Now played in 20 different countries on six continents, it's the biggest massive multiplayer role-playing game of all time. And today, they find themselves on the precipice of their first major expansion, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. And it all falls on the shoulders of one man, creative director Ian Grimm. When we think about cultural touchstones, we think E.T., Star Wars, Avatar, and yet our industry dwarfs the traditional entertainment business. So when we think about legends, why not think... Uh, Apple TV Plus, I already lost interest. <laughs> that was quick. This is not doing a whole lot for me. I gotta tell you. I gotta stop. What is this? It's a commercial for the game. It's a commercial for you. It's still going. Shh, 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 shh. Oh my god. This is insane. Hmm. I think it's brilliant. I'm gonna have to bring that up to Seth. Rainbow Six. Hey there, my name is Parker and Taro Mackay, esports caster for Rainbow Six Siege. There are so many exciting. You know who else had an esports caster? EA. Events, you know how exciting that was? Not really. Roster of 52 unique operators, and of course. Dude, I don't know. I kind of checked out for a moment. You'll be able to enjoy our 13th season, Operation Phantom Sight. This major content update brings two new operators to Team Rainbow. Nook and warden after this show be sure to stick around for an intense celebrity match starring t-pain little yachty and some of your favorite little yachty for the twitch rivals celebrity show match but right now here's a glimpse of the new season in action thank you everyone and have a great e3 there we go all right show me i'm actually blown away by the amount of support for this game Yeah, no, it's crazy. They, uh... <clears throat> I, I can't think of anyone who's really supported a game like this outside of, like, an MMO. Commissioner Gordon, a splash of James Bond. That's kind of neat. I'm broken to the back cave. Truth. So how about 2077 though? <clears throat> I mean, not a lot of competition. Like, I'll say that fucking much. No, there's actually. <clears throat> uh, I'm glad they didn't show like too much because obviously I want to play the game. I love 
that we got a release date. I love that they did show that, uh, you know, different things can happen depending on your, your actions. Because in the original one that we saw last year, your your buddy was you know fine the whole time. And in this one, not so much. Uh, and then your relationship, obviously, uh, with... I, I'm awful with names, I'm sorry. The guy with the golden arm, you know, uh, had soured. Showed a male character instead of a female character, you know. So they did get to show some stuff, but uh, more importantly, really state uh, and reminding me that that on top of everything else coming out early next year, I'm going to be broke for a while. Got him. Was this Smash Bros? You don't want to overhype the game too much, but I'm going to pre order either way. Maybe not GameStop because they're dying. Um, yeah. I'm weird about pre ordering. I don't want to overhype it too much for sure. But, um, I'm honestly, I'm going to be blown away if it's even remotely bad. And I, I sincerely doubt it. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm very excited for it. And um, now i got to figure out. I, I really should play it on PC. But then i got to put some money in my PC, which is just more money. And yeah, I stopped. I, God, I can't remember the last time I went into GameStop at all, to be honest. The only test of a man's worth is battle. When those rounds come screaming past your head, you're gonna learn if you were hungry enough. Hungry enough to take that victory. And we're going to battle with the soldiers that we used to be. Ghosts. Goddamn Punisher, man. And you better believe that they are hungry too. And once upon a time, some of these ghosts. Why are you yelling at Shane? Your friends. And there is brotherhood. But then there is what the world needs. These ghosts, they are the past. They still serve the machine that we left behind. And right now, for the future, the world needs us. What are these statistics, the past videos? Like what? Yeah, I'm just going to buy it for Xbox because I don't want to buy another graphics card to play. A game Xbox X can run fine. What are the statistics of the past videos like what? I'm not are you asking the statistics of the videos I've done? With the courage to make history. You have the desire to take victory. You will be on a battlefield full of ghosts, but only you have that hunger. That hunger. Huh. Shows, I mean, <clears throat> man. So I, I get the story trailers. I really do. Ah, puppers. What's going on, everybody? Uh, hey, I'm John. This don't sell Good games to, to me. Bam Bam the dog. We go with Mac and then we go with Adventure Time talking with millions of things. I'll it's do a real that. Honor I don't know. To be here with you guys today. Thank you. I love you too. Right on. This is awesome. This has been really great. I know, the Mac one I, I kind of checked out on, and the Adventure Time one just kind of looked like uh, I'm, uh, I'm enormously proud uh, to be part of the Smash Bros. for the most part. Cheap Trick, Doggo. You know, I've had uh, the chance to play some pretty strong, tough men over the years. I've uh, played a deputy fighting zombies, special, <laughs> special forces soldier who lost everything. And now I get to play Cold Deep. I knew he's Punisher. Breakfast with Pitbull. Former special operations soldier with his own sense of responsibility. That's a good dog. He's just hanging out. It's a lot of people too. He knows how things should be run. He loves his brothers, his fellow soldiers, but he is willing to do whatever it takes to complete his mission. 
and take control of Aroa. What's with the celebrities no constantly on stage, man? You will not face a group of bad guys or a criminal organization. You will face an entire army. My army. Cheater, I don't trust it anymore. Oh, Jesus. I love when the 90s 90210 do. Yes, daddy. And remember, well, we know what you're you. watching content for. Weaponry of a fully operational special ops detachment. Trust me, there's an unparalleled arsenal of high-tech weapons in Aroa. So if you think you have what it takes, strap on your boots and you get ready to take on the wolves. Take on me. See you in Aroa. We'll be waiting. <laughs> They're going to show gameplay. I know they did a uh, technical test recently for a lot of people, so. We have the element of surprise. They have the technology. But we have the skills to even the odds. Man, I got a handful of coworkers who are like really excited for this game. They have an army. But we fight with our brothers and sisters. I actually love the Ghost Recon series. Um, I'm not super familiar. Uh, I've dabbled throughout the years, but I've never like actually like sat and played one. I know the the first trailer they showed for this game. Um, where they showed the guy like using mud to camo and stuff like that. I, I thought it looked really cool. I'm I'm pretty interested, especially with the four player co op. Never die. Chris sees guns, Chris shrugs. He shrugs and then everyone buys it and play to play co-op and then he's like, Oh, I guess I'm blind playing this with you guys. Hi everyone. What's up? <laughs> Being a community developer on Ghost Recon. Oh, that's kinda rough. She said hi and only one person said hey. An incredible journey for me so far. When we first announced the game, you were very excited. And after discussions of members of our community. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I said it. That with our post-launch plan, we will be bringing back our AI teammates for our solo players. <laughs> with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we want to go the extra mile with how we engage with you. So I'm pleased to announce a brand new community program that will allow you to express and share so much excitement Chris passion. so much welcome to Ghost Recon Delta Company <laughs> I'm feeling welcome from cosplay to streaming fan art to forum discussions however you show your love for Ghost Recon there is something for you in our five different detachments with lots of content to support you, as well as direct discussions with our studio. So head over to our Ghost Recon Breakpoint website to find out more, and hear from you soon, Delta Ghosts. Thank you very much, everyone. So, it's a community program. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> There's some hellos. Good job, guys. The Ghost Recon team has always taken great pride from your passion for our games. And that passion is what pushes us to deliver the best Spec Ops experience out there. Behind enemy lines, you will be fighting the most dangerous enemies the Ghosts have ever faced constantly testing your survival skills. 
Yes, we can't wait to welcome you in Ghost Recon Breakpoint on October 4th. Thick ass and accent. One month before that, our beta will be live on September 5th. Beta. Glorified demos. You can register on our website right now for a chance to participate. Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be live for years to come. We've got your back. <laughs> New content, free updates, and many surprises inspired by our community. Every pause, clap. Yes, yes. Like this one. <sighs> I mean, th to be honest, most of the developer ones have their moments of that for sure. Uh, I thought Microsoft's was, for the last two years, just completely smooth. Are we doing Terminator again? I, I don't think so, just because they already licensed with, was it EA, I think? It'd be really weird if they were licensed with two separate companies. Was it EA? Now I'm doubtful. Oh no. No! Man... This was like half a Bethesda show too, it was just mobile shit. Killing me, guys. Killing me. No, mobile boo and the slew mobile games are coming. Everyone, man. Except for Microsoft. Thank you. Oh, no, not true. Gears Pop mobile game. They all did one. Now, watch me bitch about all this, and we're going to watch Square later, and they're going to do like a Brave Exodus thing or something like that. I'm like, yeah, I love that game. Oh, hell yeah, mobile games. Are you uh, facetious? I hope you're being facetious. If not, uh, you are alone in that excitement. Sorry. I hate to be the guy to tell you that. Pre register now. Splinter Cell. And one token mobile game guy. No, no. He was being facetious. I assumed as much. Ten years. Ten. Just years. dance. Uh, that's a lot of dance. What, they're not going to bring him out on stage? We're exhausted. I know. But think of everything Bummer. we've done. It's not for us, or for you, or you. It's Sam Fisher's one of the characters. Sam Fisher has been a guest in a couple games now. We danced, and Sivio we and danced. Friend got married. We danced, and our friend Jaden Rodriguez danced for millions. Bringing together generations. Right. We danced, and they set world records. Do you remember Carrie? Yeah, the stage is it? I don't know. Where's the stage performance? We're with her. Spent all their money on orchestra. Dance is why we exist, and I know we're gonna have much more of these moments because dance is a force. All oh, the bear. He's the dopest. Well, if the last thing didn't give a, a strike on YouTube, this sure would have. 
and will when it's uploaded. on stage by the way rumpa bum pa bum pa bum look k pop in there huh hey hey don't make fun of the bear I better not let Trishel know that there's black pink in this. Oh, uh, then the Russian meme song. Anyone see this video? You ain't catching my tall fat ass at home doing this. I'd rather play Wii Sports and get my own. <laughs> ah, come on. No, I probably wouldn't play this either, but <clears throat> I'm sure the lady would. I bought one for Wii U, and she played that a little bit. Was it just dance? Now I'm doubtful. Oh lord, it evolves. Oh yeah. Probably a good one to get on Switch, since you got the motion controllers or whatever. I mean, that's a long trip for them to play, unless it's online sport. There's an old tale about this village. Oh, I definitely don't love this aesthetic. A samurai came to deliver justice. But darkness clouded her mind. She slaughtered. She sounds very nice. <laughs> and became the spirit of death. What am I looking at? Cause I love the visuals. Is this for honor? Not until a horror came. I don't think so. I mean, maybe, I guess. Samurais, should we pay attention now? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's for honor, and I'm not a fan, but. They always sell me with the visuals. I just a yes. All right. Be wary. Sakura is the spirit. They added the uh, the Chinese stuff to this game as well already, didn't they? I'm so out of the loop. Yep. Cool. I'm sure Almasai will be thrilled. Disturbing. What didn't I like about For Honor? I just don't think it's fun to play. Plus, competitive. I don't really do competitive games. Man, you gotta get that arm looked at, man. 
Wrong company. That was a mode they had for a little while, right? Are they just like bringing it as like a full-blown thing now? Hi, I'm Biojad and I'm the lead game designer on the next Rainbow Six game. It's called Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I, I thought they had that in I'm Rainbow Six a for a little while. In Ubisoft Montreal. That set out on an exciting new mission. This was a thing before, right? Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. Redesigned co-op experience. He's making a full they game out of it, apparently. Of one of the best shooters yeah, because I remember, I think Seth played. He said it was like, it got pretty, pretty difficult. PvP shooter genre, we will be to PvE co-op. Yeah, I'm confused because I'm, I was, I'm pretty positive that was like a temporary mode. It was a good way to test it, I suppose, and now sell it to people, so. Holding you and, your operators and I love co-op, and I like Rainbow Six, but I just don't really like playing it, so. Do I hear money grab like Metal Gear Survive? I hope not. I hope it's like a full-blown experience of Rainbow Six, but for co-op. We'll see. Totally not sold, but interested at least now. and start prepping for your next deployment. I can't wait to show you more and have a great E3. I will do my best. I will do my absolute best. Even though I'm not there like Seth. Division. <laughs> Need to hop back in there. God, you're losing me with the streamers, though. Seth is a hoe. I don't know if he'd argue with you. Who's rude and why? Kinda dig the cats being a skull. Than to see our game come to life, and to see our players, our star players, taking tremendous pride in being a part of the division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to play the division two yet, we would be thrilled to have you join our very passionate community. Because I'm happy to announce that this week only, between June 13th and June 16th, it'll be free. Will be absolutely 100% free for everyone to play. Yay, free drugs! And there's no better time to join us, as we're about to release. Though honestly, a perfect opportunity for people to try it. It is a fun game. Year one journey. A journey beyond Washington, D.C. To save not just a city, but an entire nation. Some really sweet editing. All right. All right. Thank you. Episode one coming in July, right around the corner. We deliver to you new main missions and a brand new game experience. Division two is free the from the 13th to the 16th. The outside the city. 
and you'll venture deep this month into the or next month i think it was this month an attack on a presidential compound as you seek to bring a traitor to justice you get your little sample the and then when you like it you stick around and pay you for and it team will hunt down the surviving outcast leader and this brings us to our final edition of episode one a place called kenley college and it's home to an entirely new gameplay experience one that will take exploration investigation now all the year one content for this game is free isn't it and then they'll uh, starting year two they'll they'll now, start charging for stuff two, coming this fall we'll bring to you the pentagon <laughs> what you're getting excited over a location Once an impenetrable fortress, it has fallen to the black tusks and its secrets are about to be thrown out into the open you must do everything it takes to secure what lies Insightful, the Chris. walls of this last castle. Ah, so like the first this one where you played the, the beta to hell and then didn't want to buy it because you did almost everything. I'm very excited to tell you. Not in three days. Our second raid will be coming this fall, bringing back intense eight-player action. <laughs> yeah. Second raid? Is the first raid out? What Jesus, I'm so out of the loop. Raid, it was awesome, and we cannot wait to see what we'll <clears> break this time around. Now, this brings us to our third and final episode of year one. What if rebirth was not about bringing the world as we know it back to life, but the opposite? One man holds that power, and humanity itself. I have is the power! Agents, it's time to engage in a manhunt. Oh, we get a trailer for this one. You can do a lot in three days since I'm waiting on parts for my truck and bike and I have no job. You know, if I was in the same uh, situation, I have a feeling that somehow something would find a way to keep me too busy. Because that's just my luck half the time. We have the training. We fought to protect. We have the technology. We could rebuild him. But training doesn't prepare you to hunt someone you used to call brother. He has left us no other choice. If we don't stop him, better be able to use those rides. There will be nothing left to save. Holy shit, what about that? Holy shit, what about that teaser? You might know, we have been working on a movie. Okay, my girlfriend would bug me to come over we'll as soon as I sit down and play it. David See? Lynch, starring Jessica Chastain and Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, today, or I'm proud to announce, come out. Well, oh, why aren't you at work? I'm off today. We should Netflix. go do something. More to come on that in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Netflix, what are you doing? Jake Gyllenhaal, you say? Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Brenda Panagrosi. I'm vice president of platform and product management. You are full of rainbow heads today. Has been creating worlds for over 30 years. We have the most diverse library of games, and we're about to make it even easier. Me and her share a tone of voice. I'm here to announce dead Ubisoft's new subscription service on PC <laughs> called you play plus hey look at that subscription service nope you'll get earliest available access to new games including the pre I forgot that I want trials rising sadly me too content. and you can enjoy the depth you know what I don't want PC catalog subscription services over 100 games and growing You play plus will be fourteen ninety nine a month. If you sign up, who forced her on stage? Free access for you. She's so uncomfortable. At launch. Let me know 
Everyone's doing this shit now. So you remember like how cable companies started like bundling more and more shit together and people got tired of it and then Netflix showed up and they had everything for cheaper and in one destination and people loved it and then everyone else wanted a piece of that pie and then they started pulling out and doing their own separate things and then we had game stream platforms and everyone else was like, oh, we should do that too. Exhausting, man. Fourteen ninety nine a month, pretty pricey for games that are given away for free all the time on consoles and PC. Yeah. Uh, so the only one I've, I've agreed with so far is Microsoft for fourteen ninety nine. You get their streaming service and Xbox Live uh, Gold, so you get both for fourteen ninety nine a month. That's awesome, right? Plus, they have a library of games that are outside of just being Xbox games. They're, you know, just a bunch of different companies. $14.99 for Ubisoft games. The bargain's just not there. <sighs> You're killing my fucking buzz, lady. Gaming platform where you could play our Stadia games from any device. A special thank you to Phil Harrison and his team. This is the beginning of our partnership. Oh, thank you for the money. Thank you so much. Have fun playing. Yeah, it's a lot more games and a lot of AAA newer titles, and don't get me going on Stadia. I think we're all on the same page on Stadia. They're gonna shove it down our fucking throats, though. What, they watch Alita? Sports roller skating game. Let's make a game about it. So much CG. Next, Roller Champions. <sighs> Human Rocket League. Did anyone here watch uh, Alita? Hello, future Should have made it more like that. My name is Stefan, and I'm a proud member of the Roller Champions I'm team. bored. <laughs> All right, come on, bring it up. No, roller derby basketball. What do you mean no? You don't watch anything. Unless it's some like uh wire foo movie or something. Football combined. A skill based team PvP sports game. Did you watch uh EA's press conference NFG? A game in which you, the player, can create your own story as you roll up to glory. Because my whole point, I suppose, with that question is that so far, every every uh, conference has been about an hour, hour and a half, minus Devolvers, which was like 20 minutes. Uh, EA's was three hours. Six games. And half of the ones they showed, they didn't even show any gameplay. That's right. When we're done here, I want you to head over to Uplay on your PC to download a pre-alpha E3 demo of Roller Champions. Hey, someone download this. Let me know how it is. For the next few days. And when you're done, head to the forums to tell us what you thought. And you know what? We they should have votes on skipping the presentation E3. No, you only saw Xbox. Uh, watch Devolvers. It's hilarious. And... 
I can't just leave you with that. So here's the last Bethesda. But the last half of Bethesda was good. Once you click that download button. Put well, you know, when it was id. See you in the arena. I appreciate that we're getting past the CG part. This is a sports game, and it's not made by EA Sports 2K, no thank you. <sighs> well, you would have liked a third of EA's then. All they talked about, and literally talked about and didn't show, was FIFA 20, and then Madden 20 they talked about and showed a little bit. definitely one of those games like if you had like a buddy who was good at it it'd probably be fun to watch and play but you know, I'm not interested in actually playing it myself. Oh this guy. So first I want to say thank you to <laughs> MS NFL Street we need another one of these. Those. <clears throat> so first I want to say Start screaming on Twitter. You know, congratulations for another great show. Thank you. So I believe video games have a positive impact on all of us and the world around us. At Ubisoft, our intention is to create games that will make you stronger and happier in your life. When you play Ubisoft games, we hope you will spend quality time with family and friends and meet new inspiring people. Like half the games you kill people, Learn spend quality time with your family and friends. And gain new perspective on the world and help shape it. So to everyone who plays our games, thank you for your love. Yeah. yeah. You push us to always do better and go further. So now, I'm very proud to announce a new project from an exceptional team in Quebec City. Please give a warm upload to Marc Alessi Coté, who is coming to show you a sneak peek of his game. I like sneak peeks. Are you hugging or what are you doing? Hello, everybody. Hi. Over the last 10 years, I've had the chance Looks like to Mickey Rooney. of an incredible team that has always pushed the limits of Assassin's Creed and shown us different periods of our past. But our imagination has always been bound to the reality of the history books. These past four years, our minds have lingered on a different aspect of our history, mythology. The stories of the ancient gods and their misadventures have existed they do a lot of story time. generations of storytellers and audiences and have transformed into tales that we still know and love today. Now, these stories have shaped our dreams, inspiring us to build something new. Something that transcends the limits that we have always set upon ourselves. Today, I am very proud to have the chance to show you a glimpse, to show you a teaser of this brand new game that we've been working on. I hope you enjoy it. Thank Me you too. And have a great I hope I enjoy you. it. I hope NFG, Chris, and uh, Keith also enjoy it since they are hanging out with me. Not surprised, Chris. I'm not surprised. 
gods need help, they turn to you. Burn it to the ground. Come on, come on. Give it a chance. I hope I enjoy one of these things. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Well, it was definitely a teaser. Especially for something coming out in February. Here we are. Hello, everybody. Let the think in. Let the think in indeed. Hello, everybody at home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great show. Is that it? It's just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is just the beginning. We are here outside of the Orpheum Theater. Yeah. I'm interested. I'd like to be. I, I'm in, I'm intrigued. I don't know if I'm interested. Oh, okay. Free advertising for these guys again. Let's hang out with chat instead, shall we? That was Ubisoft. Uh, any thoughts you guys want to share? Now's a good time. Otherwise, obviously, uh, when I upload this to YouTube, uh, I will. Also be curious to see people's thoughts in the comments below, since I can't stream these on YouTube anymore for some reason. Anything Greek interests me. Um, man, I don't know if I could say anything Greek interests me, but I think the, the style was cool, and the team behind it kind of helped reinvent Assassin's Creed in a good way. So uh, I think so far I'm interested, but they didn't really show anything, so it's kind of hard. Favorite thing of the show, least favorite thing of the show, Big Sad was interested in nothing. Nothing at all? I don't know. Watch Dogs looked kind of cool. It's probably my biggest uh, excitement of that, uh, that show, mostly because Granny was a badass. Least exciting, least exciting. Hmm. Mobile game. <laughs> I'm tired of it. It all seemed okay. All of it, huh? Yeah, overall, I don't know. The show was, uh, it was better than EA's. But, yeah, it was kind of... I feel like everyone's kind of holding back right now because the new consoles are, are actually coming out now. So, Gods and Monsters is my highest point. Well, at least the, the last was the best for you. Uh... And I know I keep comparing to the EA one, but EA started with their best and then ended on Sims 4. So it was really strange. Uh, favorite thing was the end, and least exciting was the entire Ubisoft show. Ow! Burn! Poor Ubisoft. You know, usually they get crap every year. And usually for, for being cringy, which is not something I, I generally care about in any regard because whatever. But, uh... I usually think they have a pretty decent show. It was a little, a little lackluster this year. But like I said, I think everyone's kind of waiting. Hey, watch out about Sims 4. What do you mean watch out? Do you think that's a good way to end a show? Especially when you start with something like Star Wars? I mean, it's just a weird order. They went uh, Star Wars, Apex Legends, Battlefield 5, FIFA, Madden, Sims 4. Tell me you wouldn't reorder that. Uh, as far as the Ubisoft show goes, though, um, I honestly, <clears throat> I think I was mostly underwhelmed just because, like, I you know I wanted to see uh, more Beyond Good and Evil Two, and I know they can't right now because they're in a kind of a critical part of development and they're mo moving studios and expanding their team. So um, it's understandable in that regard. And then um, I honestly was kind of expecting a Splinter Cell announcement. Because he keeps show, or Sam Fisher keeps showing up in games, and that seems like a huge missed opportunity unless they're going straight next gen with that one. So I mean, maybe next year, who knows? Uh, the Rainbow Six thing was kind of interesting. I hope it is a full fledged game and not just a cash grab, because that would be super unfortunate. And uh, you know, getting to hear about the division content is great for people who are uh, more invested in playing the game more actively. Uh, as I understand as being a person who plays a lot of Final Fantasy XIV and always wants to hear as much as I can about that. So um, I get that. So that's 
cool for those people. And then, yeah, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is the big one for me. I never thought I would actually like one of those games, and that one looked pretty cool. I would put Sports first, then Sims, Rest last. But the thing about the new Xbox isn't supposed to be fully backwards compatible. Open out the gate on all four gens. I mean, the Xbox One wasn't either, so this is something they worked on later. Um, knowing Microsoft are going to try their best to do that because they got lots of positive feedback on that. Um, I don't think they've really, they don't think they said too much either. I'm sure they have a lot more talk about uh, when they do their own event, probably next year. Um, same way like Sony will probably have a lot more talk about either like PlayStation experience or or whatever random interview they're in and the guy just decides to talk about it all of a sudden. Uh, though I think the, the next PlayStation is built on the PS4 architecture, so that's exciting uh, for backwards compatibility reasons, but we'll see. Other than that, yeah, Ubisoft, it was okay. The good one, however, uh, hopefully, one I'm most excited for is Square Enix, watching that next. Um, so a friendly reminder for the three of you watching me live right now, uh, it'll be here on Twitch since YouTube uh, is not playing nice right now. Uh, and then if not, it'll be uploaded for those of you watching the recorded version of this show. It'll be uploaded on YouTube as well. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for this one, though. Take a quick break and then go straight into Square. So uh, if you guys want to stick around and watch that with me, awesome. And if not, watch it later on YouTube. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one. Don't forget to play the PlayStation Plus games and come back at the end of the month for Plus Club to discuss those games with those. And a reminder, those games are Borderlands, The Handsome Collection, and Sonic Mania. And... Uh, Path of Exile is our game of the month picked by Chris that is another game that uh, is available to pretty much everyone because it's free and uh, play that and come back at the end of the month for game of the month and discuss that with us we have discord come chat with us anytime all the time and we have podcasts available on iTunes Spotify and most podcast platforms thanks for hanging out with me guys in live chat and thanks for watching if you saw this on YouTube and we will see you for Square Enix next until then Later.